Today, we're gonna to take a look at a USA-made Hardcore Hammers axe. Yeah, that's right, what's up folks? Welcome to the channel, welcome to another episode. Isn't that sick? Mm, I love that laser engraving there on that head. Hardcore Hammers. Now, if you're not familiar with Hardcore Hammers, obviously, hammers, uh, they have made lots of hammers, that's what they're kind of known for, but uh, they also make hatchets, uh, and now are getting into the axe, like full size to compact size axe range of tools. Now it's really impressed me in the past with hardcore hammers because we have tested out two of their hatchets that I was extremely impressed with and one I regularly use on a regular basis when I'm needing hatchet work is that it's USA made. Uh, they are made of 4140 steel, which if you know anything about that steel, it's a great shock resistant uh, steel. Great uh, manufacturers use that such as like RMJ Tactical with their tomahawks and hatchets that they produce. So, I mean, that's a very good steel, much better than some other options that are out there. Uh, and I've always seen really good uh, fit and finish and just longevity of performance with my hatchet. So that's why I wanted to try out this full size for me uh, ax and see what it had to offer. What does an ax have to offer? Uh, you know, more for obviously around car camping, camp in general, the home, uh, for splitting, for large chopping tasks and those type of um, environments. How does Hardcore Hammer produce something that could do that for us? So let's go ahead, take a look, break this tool down and see what it has to offer and whether or not this might be the right tool for you. Okay, so we're gonna jump into some basic specs here. Right now they have two axes. Uh, this one I believe is the Raptor, and they also have the Ranger. The Raptor is the slightly lighter version. This thing is gonna have a three pound head that's four pounds overall with the version that I have, which is a straight handled 28 inch uh, overall handle. So that's all the way from the bottom of the handle all the way to the top, right there is 28 inches. So that's the Raptor, then the Ranger is gonna be a four pound head and uh, you can also get it with not only a 28 but also a 36 inch handle. And so you have a couple different options when you go over to the Hardcore Hammers website and I will have links for you guys below uh, that you can get a couple different staining options. You can get curved handle, you can get straight handle. This is the straight handled version. Um, and then uh, you can also get oiled and a couple different things uh, going on there. So those are just a couple basic specs that will come with this nice embossed leather uh, sheath for the face right there of the the um, blade good buttons right there really high quality really good love that blade shape just check that thing out love that deep collar too i really like that kind of lower collar on that head again a piece of 4140 ordnance steel uh, i guess we use that in some ordnance usa made Nice huge pommel right there on the back, just to give you some dimensions of this head here. We have a hammer head of about two and a half inches by one and a half inches. And then from the face edge of the blade to the back is about six and a quarter overall. The collar to the top is about three and a half. And then the overall blade length there is going to be four and a half inches. So totally digging that. I want to show this to you here. Just want to give you that profile of that blade with that nice, really good uh, seated well. I mean, this is really seated well with all the use holding up very well. Now, guys, this is the deal. Um, before we kind of give you the price and talk through a couple other quick aspects of the tool, and the handle is hickory wood, and again, you can get them 28 or 36 inches, both on the Ranger or on uh, this Raptor. I had a lot of fun using this axe. Uh, this is really one of my first true axes. So this is almost more of just showing you what it is capable of. I don't really have a lot of other plumb lines, other competitive options to show you because it's really one of my only first true axes. So what I did do is take it out, pack it in a few times. Uh, it is not something that I would regularly do that with, but uh, you, this would definitely be more of a um, vehicle or around the home or property type of axe in my opinion. This is not something you'd wanna go trekking all over the uh, kingdom come with. 
but uh, it was split like crazy, chopped like crazy. I mean, this thing bit in so deep, it didn't have to take a lot of energy. Um, you know, having a large tool like this, a three pound head, four pounds overall, it can be intimidating, but I didn't feel too intimidated by it. I didn't feel like, uh, oh my gosh, am I gonna lose this thing and you know, took my foot off or something like that. How that, if you're not skilled with axes, that can kind of be a, a, an issue. So I feel like it's a good ax to kind of learn on as well. <clears throat> but what I, I love about it, you may hear GT Jr. kind of playing around in the background, that now this is this being my third Hardcore Hammer product, the quality level is, is insane. And my three-year-old son, I know that I'm excited to keep this, use it, and be able to hand this down to him one day because of the level of durability but also quality that I've seen with all of their products, and this is no exception. And I have been able to give this to somebody and let them borrow it um, who regularly went out in the backyard and split wood. That was not my life. I wish I had grown up that way. He said they had a log pile. Uh, and so he saw this and, and I had recently, you know, gotten it and he was like, dude, let me, let me have at it. And so he went for about 30 minutes in the backyard, just cracking wood open. And he was like, dude, this is a well-balanced, good splitting ax, as well as, you know, if you need to split down trees and do that type of thing that are medium to small size, it can absolutely do that type of work. So, um, very impressed from my experience. I am not telling you that I'm some type of, you know, woodsman that lived in the backcountry of Canada, and I split trees and logs, and I'm a lumberjack. I'm not. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you that from what I'm seeing, this is a very good sized axe with good quality materials that seems to work very well for me, who is not somebody who is super skilled with large axes. It was easy for me to wield and use, and other people who are pretty experienced with axes were very impressed with its capability. And finally, guys, onto the price here. Now, the Raptor, being the three pound headed version, is gonna be $225. Again, you get options for different types of uh, coating on the handle and uh, oil, not oil, all this type of stuff, uh, as well as being able to choose between a 28 or 36 inch handle uh, and whether or not you want it curved or straight. So there's some modifications that you can personally do depending on what you're interested in for that 225. And then if you wanna go with the four pound head uh, Ranger with options also of uh, 28 or 36 inch handles, uh, that's 250. So you're getting basically $25 more for an extra pound on that head. So um, the, those are the prices. Now, obviously that's a, a pretty penny, but you're getting US quality, USA made product that's made with really good materials uh, and everything that I am seeing a really good performer. So that's something that you're gonna have to weigh. Are you somebody that uses uh, these type of tools a lot? Then this might be something that would worthwhile investing in from everything that I've tested, seen and used over the years with multiple hardcore hammer products. Uh, I see the value in it, but you have to weigh that for yourselves. Now, ha Hardcore Hammer did reach out to me after seeing some of the other reviews that I've done and that I've purchased uh, in years past of uh, like the uh, Supernaturalist hatchet. And they said, hey, we have these axes. Would you like to try one? I said, yeah, I'm not super familiar with axes, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, and so um, I was able to give you guys this video just to give you some food for thought, feedback, um, information so you can make that wise choice. That's what I always wanna do here is give you guys the data that you need so you can make a wise decision on all the products that you see here. And that's what I wanna do with this axe is give you the information that I have so you can make a wise choice. Is this something you wanna invest in or are there are other tools on the market that would just be better for you? Possibly smaller hatchets or you know, axes that they offer at Hardcore Hammers or other companies altogether. Well, folks, in conclusion, I hope that this video has shown you the capabilities, uh, my feeling on the design, what I have seen, um, the feedback that I have for you guys, just to give you a little da few data points so that you can make that wise choice on whether or not this ax is going to be the right tool for you. It, I may not be Paul Bunyan, but it definitely helps me uh, accomplish what Paul Bunyan might be able to uh, with less effort. Um, and less um, skill necessarily uh, than maybe other tools would require. And I really appreciate that. That's always good when there's a tool that means that you have to work less and you don't have to necessarily have crazy good skills to be able to accomplish um, the work and it helps you hone your skills for the every task that you may um, encounter. So that's a, a really cool thing when you get to have a tool like that and a tool that's gonna be able to be with me and be used on a regular basis for years to come when it comes to the very heavy wood processing 
of uh, splitting logs and chopping heavy wood uh, in a way that I really haven't been able to before. I've just had to rely on saws in the past. Now I have an ax to be able to accompany that type of workload. So thank you guys. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. We appreciate it when you guys follow us along over there as well, growing all the time over there, having different ways of communicating and conversations. It's so, so cool to um, just have the community that we have here and, and you guys are awesome. Without you guys, this channel would cease to exist. What I do would cease to, to be relevant and I just appreciate you guys so much. Ask any questions that you may have in the comments below um, and always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. See you out there.